This video will be about moisture in air. Invisible moisture surrounds us and our buildings all the time. And here we're going to learn to understand the concept of water vapor concentration, condensation, water vapor concentration at saturation, relative humidity, moisture conditions of outdoor and indoor air. <coughs> this bottle of water contains uh, a bit of liquid water in the bottom and in the rest of the bottle there will be a lot of vapor. And if we look into that balance between the air volume and the liquid water volume, and you look at the water molecules, some of the mo molecules will, will go up, uh, they move around all the time, and some will uh, leave the water and go up in the, in the gases phase and stay up in the air. And after some time you get so many wa um, water vapor molecules up in the air and that someone will go back to the water again. And after some time you get an equi equilibrium and you get a stable amount of water vapor in the air. And we call this the humidity by volume at saturation. And this is a time temperature dependent process. So you higher temperature, the more water water molecules can stay up in a gaseous phase. And here is a diagram that's showing the humidity by volume at saturation. Uh, it's on, on the x-axis we have the temperature uh, and on the left axis, sorry, the, the vertical axis we have the uh, humidity by volume at saturation. At, and at 20 degrees we have around 17 grams per cubic meter, which is the maximum amount. And you see the temperature increases as we go up to 30 degrees C, we can have 30 grams per cubic meter. And on the other hand, when the temperature drops, less and less water vapor is in the air at saturation. And relative humidity, RH, is an important concept. Uh, it's uh, the relative amount of humidity by volume in the air compared with the maximum one. So RH equal to the humidity by volume for a certain volume divided by the saturated uh, value, and then times 100, you get it percent. As an example, we have air with the temperature 20 degrees, and if the humidity by volume in, in, in air is 8.5, it's the half the amount of what is maximum possible, it means that the RH will be 50%. So here we see uh, uh, a couple of glasses with the cold snaps and, and the cold juice with ice cubes inside. So these surfaces, the glass surfaces are quite cold and when the indoor air here comes in contact with the glass, uh, basically it cools down and reach RH of 100%. But what actually happens is that vapor turns into liquid. We have condensation. The concept of dew point temperature. Uh, in, in the previous slide, we saw that uh, the water vapor that uh, condensated on, on the glass surfaces when it was sufficiently cold. And we can use this humidity by volume at saturation curve to determine when a certain volume of air with a certain humidity by volume will have a condensation. So then we, we used the dry diagram from the other direction. So in this case, when we had we have a humidity by volume in the air of 15 grams per cubic meter. Then we see what temperature does that correspond to. And then we find out it corresponds to 17.6 degrees C. So the dew point for this, this air volume is 17.6 degrees. Wet morning grass. We have discussed uh, uh, sky radiation and that surfaces and like roofs on, on the garage in the previous slide, uh, previous videos we had lower temperature because of the sky radiation and we see the same thing here now we find in the morning after a, a clear sky that we have dew in the grass and that's a condensation of water from from the air in nature here we can see that there's a mist where we have condensation in, in, on dust particles and, and on the grass around there. We call it Elf Dance in Swedish or Fairy Dance, directly translated. Uh, in, we, we do have 
water vapor in the outdoor air all the time and, and this diagram shows how it varies in time during the year um, we have the lowest uh, humidity by volumes during the winter period and the highest in the summer period and that's quite natural since it's warmer we have um, the soil the ground precipitation and higher temperature and we know with higher temperature the air can be filled with more water vapor uh, on the other hand the relative humidity is the lowest in the summer and highest in the winter humidity by volume indoors well when we when we ventilate our, our buildings we bring in the uh, same water vapor concentration that as we have outdoors but inside the buildings we are producing moisture and so we will have a, a higher humidity by volume uh, in the indoor airs than in the outdoor air. And the difference we call delta V, the indoor moisture supply. And it's caused by um, a production of, of moisture indoors from, from cooking, from cleaning, etc. And if we have a high ventilation rate, the moisture supply will lower. And if the, the moisture production is lower, we'll also get a lower indoor moisture supply. Writing it in formula, delta V will be equal to the moisture production divided by the ventilation rate. So, for instance, moisture production is gram per hour, and so ventilation rate is cubic meter per hour. We get delta V equal to the unit gram per cubic meter, as we expected. And there have been several uh, investigations, both in Sweden and other countries. And here are some, some results from... <coughs> uh, single-family houses and multi-family houses and we find typically that um, the moisture supply is in the range of one to four grams per cubic meter and this moisture supply is uh, changing all the time depending on how much we produce and how much we ventilate the buildings and uh, this image illustrates what can happen when during the winter period for instance we have a party and the moisture supply increasing, the humidity by volume in the indoor air will increase and soon we will find that it reach the, for this air the dew point is reached and dew point depends also on the temperature on the, uh, the glazing of the windows, the coldest spot. And when we exceeded that value, we start to get condensation, uh, we find out that directly very visible way of looking at the indoor moisture supply and here is a graph of from January to December uh, the uh, indoor relative humidity is typically indoors and here we instead have low relative humidity during winter and high during the summer so we basically have the same relative humidity inside and outside during the summer period but since the outdoor air is very they have very low water vapor concentration during the winter and we basically have the same temperature in our houses all the time the relative humidity will be quite low in the buildings during the winter summary air contains water vapor the humidity by volume tells how many gram water vapor there is in the one cubic meter of air the humidity by volume at saturation gives the maximum water vapor content possible the higher temperature, the more water vapor. The relative humidity, RH, tells how much water vapor there is in an air volume in comparison with the maximum possible one. The dew temperature tells when the water vapor in a certain air volume starts to condensate. The indoor moisture supply tells how much more water vapor there is in the interior air in comparison with the exterior one. Smaller moisture production and higher ventilation rates both lower the indoor moisture supply.